carry a test light. We all know to deal with that. If you need to see if you have power to something, if your coil's functioning or anything, test light. My brain stopped. Ooh. Welcome back to the community, folks, and thank you for being here, and thank you for subscribing if you've already done so. Pop down in the description below and you'll see t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, apparel, things like that, just to help support the channel. I really appreciate it. I was able to even buy a GoPro now. Thankfully, my son bought me one for Christmas. Okay, today, what we're going to go over, tools to carry in your Beetle so that you're not left stranded. Also, we're going to go over some parts you should carry. Now, if any of you have any other ones, add them to the comments. I'm just doing a briefing for new guys to the air cold community. Uh, and some things I'll explain if you're going on really long trips that you probably wouldn't much carry, you know, with you if you're just driving around local or a half hour from home. Carry AAA, it's a smart thing to do. But let's get started and let's see what we should take along with us. Okay, as I stated, most of the things you can carry local is not gonna be as extreme as going five states away or even a state away, you know. But if you're gonna be somewhat local, then you can downgrade a little bit. It's all up to you. So, first of all, you can get these at a junkyard, okay? Instead of using the old school VW jack like you see here, okay, they're not very safe. And plus, you gotta watch with these, you know? Just don't feel good about it. So, what you can do is, a lot of the cars now at the junkyards all still have their spare jacks laying in the trunk, or you can buy one new. But I like to go to the junkyard and grab them out of the trunk. Get yourself a scissor jack. And make sure a lot of the cars, they have even a little carrying case in the trunk. This came out of the Dodge Neon, I think. And a little handle, of course. Put it on here. Boom. Spreads, lifts the car up. You're better off doing this, to be honest with you. It's better than carrying a little floor jack around with you unless you choose to do so. Okay, I can't get that in there. Second thing, carry a little air pump. I got this at Walmart, and it's nice. Plug into the cigarette lighter if you have one. If not, you can put a power port in like you see here. That's a good thing to do. So put, get yourself a little air pump. You can plug it in and pump your tire up if needed. Especially if you guys use the spare tire pressure for your windshield washer, I don't recommend doing that. I like putting the little electric aftermarket pumps on. If you go to my uh, videos, you'll see that I did an aftermarket windshield washer, but let's not go that way. A little air pump, okay? Also, we're going to say carry some rags. I know that sounds stupid, but truthfully, when you're out you're trying to do stuff, your hands are dirty, carry some rags. Now, you don't need to carry 50. I just had them in a package, so okay. So, air cold, any car really, carry a fire extinguisher. You should have one with you at all times. We've seen engine fires and beetles. It's not a pretty sight. This can help you out and be your best friend. I used one in my garage about a month and a half ago. A little backfire, pump, little action, and I was using one. So, carry one of these with you. You can clamp it in your car inside. Okay, we're gonna get into a lot of weird stuff here. Carry PB Blast. Now, if you're going on extended road trips, you'll wanna carry some PB Blast because honestly, most of your bolts and nuts are gonna be rusted on most of these cars, so it can't hurt. Carry a little baby wire brush with you, clean the threads up and puts PB on it. Carry a test light. We all know to deal with that. If you need to see if you have power to something, if your coil's functioning or anything, test light. My brain stopped. Ooh. Electrical tape. Carry electrical tape with you. I can't stress that enough. It can help you out in many situations. A lot of people call this like bailing wire or whatever. I just call it wire. I got a roll of it at Harbor Freight or Amazon. I can't remember where. But you can have that with you and a pair of side cutters. If something starts to fall off or you need to reattach something, 
There you go, that's your best friend. Little roll, of, you could get this for like $5. Carry that with you. So let's go over tools, okay? Now, there you have your basic socket set, okay? Now you're gonna wanna carry quite a bit of sockets with you, but no, don't take this. I just pulled this tray out from what I have. They try to carry eight through 19. It can't hurt, trust me. And your 19 is your lug stud or lug nut, whatever you wanna call it with a breaker bar so you can get your wheel off. Okay, but carry an assortment of sockets, a 3 8 ratchet, quarter inch ratchet, some extensions, uh, short and long. You can do a 3 inch, 6 inch extension and a spark plug socket. Don't forget that. Okay, moving along. A feeler gauge for gapping your points or if you have to adjust your valves for any crazy reason, hopefully not, huh? set of filler gauges always comes in handy. And here's a circle kind for spark plugs. If you choose to use that, that's your call. I'm not a big fan of these because you can buy these for like 90 cents and they're, they're not very good. I don't think so. Carry a set of metric Allen heads with you. This is just a basic, simple set that unfolds, has the different sizes in it. Carry a little Allen head set with you. 17 millimeter wrench, make sure you have that with you. Okay, don't forget. And a nice set of metric wrenches. These are eight through 14. So you should carry 15 through 19 also, but I just pulled these out as an example. Set of wrenches. We already did the breaker bar and the 19 millimeter impact and if you don't have an impact it's okay you're just taking your lug nuts off okay crescent wrench carry a crescent wrench because it will fit anything well almost anything this may seem stupid but carry a knife it has so many different uses it's ridiculous so carry a knife a brake adjusting tool Okay, these do come in handy if you have to adjust them brakes up for any reason when you're on a trip or anything. These are older cars, you know what I mean? So you don't know. One thing, a little tip of advice I have though, you're gonna carry screwdrivers anyhow, but carry one for adjusting brakes in a Super Beetle because the lower strut, the lower part of the strut can get in the way a little bit sometimes with these. So carry a screwdriver. But, You'll want to carry an assortment of screwdrivers, Phillips, a large one, a small one, straight, large and small, carry different sizes. Vice grips are your best friend, especially if you have to pinch a fuel line off and it'll hold, or if you need to pinch anything off and have it hold on the car while you're moving. Just be careful where you do that at. Channel locks, very nice. Always carry a set. Side cutters, as I just showed you, for cutting your wire or cutting anything. These, I got a pair of snap-on ones here. These things are brutal. A pair of regular pliers. I know this seems excessive, but if you're on a trip, you know, what can happen? Hammer. If you have somebody approaching, I mean, I'm sorry. If you have to hit something on your car and break it loose, you need this. This is a nice thing, pretty bright too. LED light, have one with you. This one takes a uh, double A. Now, a lot of them have rechargeable ones that plug into your power port in a car and it'll charge your battery up in them. I like this one because it's magnetic on this side and you can put it against something while you're working so you, if you're alone and you don't have somebody to hold a light, this thing is nice. My son bought me that for Christmas also. Very handy. Take some extra spark plugs with you. I only have two on hand, but carry some extra spark plugs. Here's a chart here I'll put up that my buddy Gary uh, gave to me and I saved it because it shows you all the different brands. Here it is here.
So carry extra spark plugs with you. A tire gauge, so you know how much air. Don't be pumping 50 pounds of air and then have an explosion. You need to have a tire gauge with you. Always carry electrical tape. You say, I can't remember if I showed it to you already. <laughs> so carry electrical tape with you. Have that on hand, okay? It can never hurt to have some wire on hand. Carry a roll of wire with you. And here's how I gauge this technically. Carry enough wire that'll be as long as the car, and that way you're safe. Now, you can carry little connectors, you know, like this, if you need to. Maybe a little sandwich baggie with some of them and can't hurt if you have to make a new wire going to your coil or anything. Here's some other things you should carry along that I didn't feel like digging up, but you have ears and eyes, so here you go. Carry a spare set of points. You can throw them even in your glove box if you want. Carry a spare condenser for your distributor. Now, a lot of people will carry a spare distributor because of the quality of our crap today, unless you get one professionally rebuilt. You can pick up a Mechanical Advance 009 real cheap to carry as a spare, but here's the trick to that. You don't want to be out in the road trying to time your car. That's not a whole lot of fun, and you should have a timing light with you on a long trip. And remember, all this stuff that I'm showing you you can go to the Goodwill and buy an old-fashioned, cool-looking vintage suitcase, and all this stuff's going to fit in there. You can put it in your luggage compartment or in your trunk. But here's where I'm going with this. Take your distributor, put it in the vehicle, start it up, time the car. Tighten it all down. Remove your 13-millimeter nut that holds the distributor to the engine. Do not loosen the adjuster on it. Pull it up and out, put it in your suitcase. Then put your regular distributor back in and retime your car. Here's why. If you would have a distributor go bad on you when you're out, all you got to do is loosen the hold down bolt, pull the distributor out, put the new one in, tighten it, and it's already timed. How about that? Okay. We covered the distributor. Carry a spare coil. Like I said, that's a bit excessive. But if you're in California and you're deciding to take a trip to... Alabama or Florida or Pennsylvania to see me, then take these things. They're older cars. It doesn't matter if you bought a new coil. I don't trust the parts anymore, you know, but it is what it is. Spare coil. Uh, also, engine oil. Carry engine oil with you. Carry three quarts, enough to refill the engine if you had to for any reason. And I know some of you will think, well, mine don't use oil. Well, you're going 1,500 miles. It could. You know, most likely it will, but they like to mark their spot anyhow. So that's just normal. But I'm trying to think here. Oh, a very, very important one. A belt. Carry an extra belt. If you blow the belt, not only does your charging system stop, you burn the engine up because the fan quit turning. How do I know that? Because when I was 16 years old, a long time ago, yes, I burned my engine up. I thought I could make it home. I was new, didn't understand, but no big deal. Lost my engine. Anyhow, carry a spare belt. You can carry two if you're crossing the United States. Or if you're overseas and you're going from Germany to Russia. Don't matter, okay? Also, take a spare clutch cable and accelerator cable. Things are not made like they used to be, but at least you can fix it if you're on the road and on a trip, okay? So we went over the dizzy parts, the belt, everything else. Uh, you could do something here that's gonna get really out of control. So if you're crossing the United States and you don't have a nice fresh Volksbits rebuilt carburetor or whatever, you could toss a spare carb in your vehicle as long as it didn't have gas flooded through it. That's probably a bit excessive though, so just use your common sense. Basically, I believe that's it. I'm sure there's much more you can carry, 
So chime in in the comments, because remember, this isn't a channel. This is a community that's growing together and answer each other in the comments. However, if you can remember some other things to do, leave it in the comments below and say, hey, this is what I carry and this is why. Upcoming, sladesvwbeetle.com. We're going to have a great website with all kind of fun stuff on there. And I'm going to need you folks to help out. I'm going to need a couple of photos in your car, of your car. Try that again. A little bit about your car. You know, whatever you want to email me. You know, I got my car when five years ago, 10 years, 20 years ago. My name's Joe, and this is my car, and this is what I like about it. We're going to have a member section on my website where people can click and go in and go, wow, he got a cool car. This one got a cool car. And we can include your email if you want. If not, that's okay. If you want to use a nickname, that's fine too. I don't like putting anybody's real name on there. So there's lots of stuff to come. Again, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. And make sure you have a good spare tire. See you soon.